Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Natalie Ray here with a camping tour. This has to be the best camping park in the world. I am truly obsessed with it and I just wanted to give you guys a full on tour of Camping Jungfrau. Before we continue, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below right now. Also, make sure you click that little notification bell button. It's right next to the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out from any of my upcoming new videos. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram at Natalie Rea, that's how you can find me. Now, I say we get started because this place is amazing. We are currently in Lautenbrunnen, Switzerland. It is about 15 minutes away from Interlaken, which is, I would say, pretty popular. However, this small town has my heart, you guys. I'm going to give you guys a little 360 just so you can see what I'm talking about. You're surrounded by endless waterfalls. This one has to be the main one. And then you have another waterfall there. And then another one over there. And if you continue walking, you will see plenty more. Coming into the mountain holiday park, the Camping Jungfrau of Switzerland, you guys. You come down this little road, you see the sign. Just continue going down. Look at this gorgeous view. You can still hear the waterfalls. I know when we first started, you guys were able to hear it a lot. I can still hear them from here. I'm not sure if the camera is catching it. Here comes the car. The good thing about this place is that there is a lot of walkways. The one I'm taking right now, the one we were on, there's a few literally all around this place. If you go to your left, this is where you have your reception, check-in, where they have the shop, the restaurants. There is two restaurants, one's a pizzeria, and then one is a regular Swiss restaurant. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna try and check these out in a little bit. The reception. It is closing hours. Pretty late right now, so there's not a lot going on. But over here on the left side, we have stall. It's the pizzeria. Over here, we have the reception. There's also a shop and a little mini grocery, little market where you can do some shopping. Over here we have some WCs, men, women, and showers. There is, I want to say two, the ones I've seen, there might be more. But you have your showers, you have your WCs, and then you have some, these are the showers. And then you have some beauty rooms. Let's see what we have over here. Over here we have some washers dryers a place where you can wash your dishes a place where you can hang your clothes it's it's pretty neat you guys everything is also kept super clean at all times okay so that's what we have going on over here over here to the left is the restaurant in here you have a little foosball table a little vending machine and that's about it for this little room I've never really seen anyone in here This right here is the lounge area. There's a hammock, which baby girl is currently on. And then you have a few sitting areas, a chimney, super cute, cozy lounge area. Ooh, the coffee. This was actually out of service yesterday. Well, it wasn't available, but cute little coffee area. A few sitting areas. And then this is another way to go into the restaurant. Kitchen. We're doing the kitchen now. This place I found pretty interesting. And we actually didn't come in here until the second day. One thing I love, you don't have to bring a high chair. Because, hey, 
they have two high chairs and this place is I don't think I've seen it full we've come a few times and maybe one other person comes in while we're here they have three mini fridge and people do put their food in here we thought about maybe using them but we were like eh we don't really need to we bought coolers they have trash cans they have a microwave and a toaster i wish i knew that i knew that they had a kitchen but i thought we would have to pay someone to like i don't know i don't know where my mind was but it would have been nice to know that there was a microwave so i could have maybe frozen some things use these little mini freezers and then use the microwaves but anyways that's that i also thought about bringing a pot i ended up not bringing it but it would have been nice to bring a pot and do some scrambled eggs here in the morning and you know just have a little good breakfast here instead of going to the little shop and you know getting breakfast over there these right here are for the stove they take frank obviously and then it says two franks will give you 20 minutes which honestly i that that's that's bomb deal then they also have a little sink area so you can you know do your dishes do some prep they have this little kettle so you can heat up some water that's pretty cool we actually brought a jet boil so that's what we were using to heat up the water for naya's bottles but there you have it kitchen over here we have ski room recycling and gas that right there would be a bar and then you have all of these cabins you can definitely rent a cabin rent a space for your camper for your rv for your tent there is room for everything that's another close and dishes area so this is the area that we're staying in where all of the tents are at pretty much the singles and family tents i'm going to show you guys the area where we are at it is a wednesday today is our last full day i don't know if you guys can still hear the waterfalls but you can hear them in every corner and that is also because just right behind these cabins you have the river oh 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 i totally almost skipped this part but this is our tent right here we have it in this corner they do assign you a little location they asked us if you wanted to be in this corner or in this one we decided to go with this one because of the trees just thought we would get more shade but we get an amazing view we have it facing over there so we can get a view of that waterfall whenever we're coming out but the best part <laughs> is that we have the facilities within 15 steps from our tent yes i counted also if we were looking into getting power that's what these babies are for i believe they charge five frank a night over here they have power washroom good for dogs good to wash big things if you have you know big bins your dogs this is the perfect room loved having all of these facilities right next to our tent so you have a little sink area to wash your clothes only you have a washer and a dryer that you do have to pay for but it's not that expensive you have some sinks so you can wash your dishes this is where i was coming every single day to wash naya's bottles and then they have an entire room for you to dry your dishes this entire place is just way too cool including this room where you can hang dry your clothes hard to explain it never seen anything like it but it was a pretty cool room also for some reason i felt totally safe in the spot like if i was to leave something i just know no one will steal it right next to it you have the restrooms which again i'm gonna do a voiceover because there's music playing in there but one thing i want to mention before i go in there i i'm obsessed with this place you guys i had such an amazing experience with showering and all of that good stuff i i loved it also it's heated in here okay these two rooms were probably my favorite ones and the ones where i spent the most time in so this one right here is the family room and i love this one because it has a sink it has the outlet it has a shower it has the toilet we didn't end up getting the power to the tent like we just didn't think we needed it so i would come and charge my phone in here while i would do my makeup and then they have this little room which is the baby room and i thought it was so so amazing because of the tub this is a baby tub after this like this is what i want i want this in my kitchen 
it is a baby tub it made everything so much easier for me and naya this is where i bathe her this is where i would come and change her diaper every now and then um just overall love that room i thought it was really cool that they have that there for the individual showers and toilets and beauty rooms another thing i thought they were amazing this right here is the beauty room it has the sink and then it has the power outlet which i would use to use my straightener to be honest i brought like the mini travel ones and it just worked perfect and then right across the beauty rooms they had the showers which i had <laughs> such good showers i love them they were like the perfect small little size you know just for one person i definitely did not bring naya in here I did use this one twice and then the family room once that doesn't even add up but anyways yeah you get some hot water some cold water i thought that was really cool they also had this really interesting thing that i honestly don't know what it was for but i used it for my hair phoenix says they had it in the men's restroom and he was using it for his hair every time he would get out of the shower so i was like maybe that's what it is um i don't know i'm gonna guess and say it's for the hands but it's a good plus it works as a hair dryer this was also really neat to have next to our tent kept naya entertained for a little bit also yesterday it was pretty rainy so having another little lounge area right next to our tent was pretty neat there's also a kids area i'm just gonna go up there really quick just so i can show you guys because it seems like this is a great spot for families so let's go check that out there is a bouncy house that i want to say is on 24 7 i don't think i've ever seen it down you don't have to pay it's free we tried it out there's also this really cool slide but you guys i don't know why it doesn't come with a warning because phoenix and i tried it and it is so steep it literally spit me out i went flying but i'm sure kids would like that this little playhouse and then you have this little zip line that i think is pretty interesting for kids phoenix and i tried it it doesn't really take you all the way across maybe it does for kids with our weight i believe we made it somewhere about here and you can tell too it's darker in this area but that was a good bonus right there good bonus honestly i want to say that's about it i'm gonna start heading back down to the reception phoenix and i are hanging out in the lounge room should we take another route one thing to note is everyone is friendly i don't think i've gotten any weird looks i haven't gotten any bad vibes from a single person if i'm passing by and i see someone they they either say hello or you know i'll be the first one to say it and without a doubt they will say it back with a smile what a gorgeous baby it is after hours or else i would have gone into the shop and showed you guys around so you guys could get a feel on the prices but i do have an entire video based on this trip where i show you guys our every day and what we do and a lot more on what to do around here so we'll leave that link down below but i am ending today's video right here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed to join the raya shields family and i will see you guys soon bye guys